Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 2. In the last episode we entered the farming guild. Uh, we have used these two unlocked. So now we're going to be used the farming guild. And I just unlocked my first seed pack. Let's see how much points that will give me. Not many, I would say. 10 points, as expected. I basically need some compost, so I need some watermelon seeds. Please, RNG. Okay, these are the worst seeds ever. Actually, the willow seeds aren't that bad. I haven't planted anything in this room yet. Well, I'm going to get a farming contract first and see what I have to plant. Okay, so I have to plant toad flax, which I just did. And I'm just going to wait for it to grow. Meanwhile, I'm going to plant as many fruit trees. I mean, tree patches. Is this a fruit tree? There was a fruit tree. Oh, I think you need 85 farming to access that. Yeah, you do. So I'm going to plant regular trees and get a lot of XP from that because my multiplier is at 10x, I think. Uh, yeah, it's 10x, so I will probably get farming levels really fast. So yeah, that's the plan. In the meanwhile, downtime, just going to do thieving until 64. And then I'm going to open the chest for the Xerix Talisman. And there we go. We managed to get 60 thieving. And I'm actually going to open all these crates now. Uh, enough stalling. Let's see if we get the pet or not. First one. Cash, snapgrass seed. That's pretty nice because I was going to plant these. Second one. Anything special? Nope. Limestone. This is good for the altar. The best in slot altar, I would say. After the forest dungeon one. Snapdragon seeds, really good. Cash. Here it's. Pretty sure I need some inventory. And there we go. Last three. Burn pages. That's going to help me as well. Since I have the Tom of Fire. Rainer Weed. And dynamite and angel fist. Not the best chest to be honest and no pet. And there we go, 64 thieving. And uh, you can now steal from chest from businessman temple. Which I'm gonna do while I wait for my next plant to grow. Uh, I'm just gonna go there until I have the talisman. I might get 75 thieving because that gives you a lot of points. So in the meanwhile I can just do farming. And steal from the chest and when I need to bank I can come here. Because it's really close by. So I went to see this and bought myself needle and thread for the thieving part. I also got myself the 26 crafting. And that way I can cut the gems and I think I should have a lot in the bank. There we go. So let's get a chisel and see what level we get from these uncuts. Okay, I can't do the ruby ones and the diamond ones yet. But I'll probably get crafting levels while I'm stealing the chest because they drop... Xerix fabricants or whatever and they drop uncuts so I get crafting and I get crafting XP basically from that But the main goal is to get the talisman and 75 thieving if I go dry I don't mind going dry as long as I get it before 75 thieving first maze Coal and chaos rooms. That's really good chaos rooms especially And there we go. We should get a thieving here. We didn't get the talisman which is one in 300 So that's unfortunate, but we're definitely gonna stay here until we do because, like I said, we're doing skilling first and combat later, so this is the only way I can get the talisman. The drop base is 1 in 300, and I'm pretty sure I opened like 500. Anyways, this will give me easy points. Yeah, 150. I had 50 from 40 crafting as well, I think. Which I also got here from the gems. And also, if you go to the uh, tally spot, the home tally, there's a gem stall. If you steal that, you get easy 250 points, so that's an additional 250. Which will get me closer to my next relic. But my next relic is combat based, so I don't really care if I get that sooner than later. Anyways, I'm probably gonna go to the farming guild, do some contracts, do this medium clue. I had four medium clues, I had to drop all of them. Um, I can't do this one though. I hope to get a power enemy from that, so that's gonna be an enemy for Slayer when I do start combat. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue until I get kicked out and then do this medium clue. So we managed to get a talisman at 81 thieving. I'm not sure how many I'm going to drive, but now we can teleport around. This will save me a lot of time. I'm going to do my medium clue now, my farming contracts, and then I'll probably finish off 99 fire making, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet. And there we go. First medium casket. So hyped, luck me. Oh my god, that's so bad. I mean, the admin full arm is kind of good, but no rangers. The page is kind of useless, I would say. So this is a really easy task. If you steal from this, you get 250 points. And there we go. Pretty sure it gives you 250 points because it's an elite task. It requires some thieving level. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. 250, 370 points till the next relic. And there we go. In the previous episode, I said I would come back to the tight farm to do the last tier. 
I have 75 farming. It requires 74 farming. It's also a task. I think it gives 250 points. I'm not 100% sure. I'm about to find out in one second. Uh, tasks, claim points. Yeah, 250. 90 points until the next unlock. But I don't really care because it's going to be combat based. And we're waiting with the combats. Anyways, let's see how much XP this gives me. 347,000. That's insane. And we get 77 farming. We need 85 for the last tier of the farming guild. Uh, I'll probably get that with magic seeds and palm streets and just contracts, I would say. And there we go, guys. We decided to get 99 fire making. Let's light this up. Nice, 99 fire making. And the fireworks. Let's see if people grants me. Nope. Anyways, this also gives me 250 points, which means I can unlock the next relic. There we go. And we're going for Conor's Blessing, obviously. 30% damage boost uh, against Slayer, 10% increased damage against any NPC. So 100%, let's pick that one. Animation looks so cool. How many points do we need for the next one? 2,280, that's a lot. Anyways, let's go to the bank. And I decided to save up all the crates because uh, I was doing a method which required no banking for the best XP possible. I'm not sure how many crates these are, but I'm gonna open them in a second. Let's go to the farming guild and open them while I'm waiting for my crops to grow. So I decided to go to aerial fishing next and we're 36 hunter. The goal is to get 53 and then I'm going to do chin chompas to 75 and with 75 I can catch magpies barehanded. So that's the goal. Get 53, do some chin chompas to 75. And there we go. 53 hunter done through aerial fishing and now we can catch regular chin chompas. So let's do that. Hopefully it's not crowded because then I have to change up my plans. But well, I've seen people do it on stream and it was kind of packed, but let's hopefully, let's check it out first and then move on from there. But I'm first going to go to the farming guild and do some contracts. And there we go, we just got 60 hunter, which means we can place 4 traps, that's going to speed it up a lot. And since I have the 10x multiplier in hunter, I'm getting like 600k XP right now with 3 traps. So my XP rates will probably increase. I might just go to 80, if I feel like continuing, I might just get 93 so I can get DMs. And there we go, this should get me 75 hunter, now I can catch magpies barehanded. There we go, it doesn't give me the message. Anyways, if I ever see magpies flying around, I can catch them. I might come back for 84, which is ninjas barehanded. Don't want to go for dragon, which takes 93, I feel like that's a waste. So we're done with hunter for now. And there we go, this magic, seed, magic tree should get me to 80 farming. Holy shit, that XP drop, that's insane. So I missed the recording guys, I just got 85 farming. I thought that was recorded but I wasn't apparently. Anyways, let's redo what I just did. 85 farming, enter the farming guild's higher tier. Got 250 points, gonna plant Celestrus patch, uh, Dragon Fruit patch and the Redwood patch. I can't plant this yet but I'm gonna make a garden pie that gives me five, uh, plus 5 boost and that way I can plant it and when I check the health of the Redwood tree I'll get 250 points as well for that. So those are the plan for now. Also I was thinking about planting spirit seed and planting one in the cities as well so I could use them as a teleport to get back to the farming guild real fast. 
But then I started thinking, and you cannot use spirit seeds because uh, spirit trees because you haven't done the quest. So that's unfortunate. Okay, so I looked up at the wiki and it turns out it only boosts your farming by 3. And I have no idea why I thought it was 5. Maybe because of the wild pie thing. Uh, I'm gonna double check by eating one. I made 5 in case I ever need them in the future, but I don't think so. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna burn them, but apparently it's only 34 cooking. So, wait for the last one. Moment of truth. Yep, only three. So I need to get two farming levels before I can plant the redwood tree, which shouldn't take me that long because I have magic seeds, celestial seeds, and the dragon fruit seeds. And I think they give me 10x XP anyway, so it wouldn't take me that long to plant the redwood tree. And that way I can wait for my dragon fruit to, to, to grow and use that as a payment for my redwood tree and I don't have to worry about it dying out. So I managed to stack up all these seed boxes, uh, I did so many farm contracts, so let's just open them and see what we get. Hopefully we get a lot of tree seeds. That's insane, three palm seeds so far. Three has spory seeds, I have to plant this, uh, there's no way I'm gonna kill it anytime soon. But getting those three special effects seeds was gonna help me as well. So let me just open all these seed packs and see if I get anything special. So I just opened all the packs and I got my first torso seeds. That's going to be helpful because now I can do hard tasks and hard tasks require to plant torso seeds. Three Espori seeds the first time I got them. And basically I'm getting three seeds every time because of my perk. Uh, three redwood tree seeds. I already had those. I got. I just got three more dragon fruit tree seeds because I already made the uh, saplings for that. So these just came in. Uh, these have to go there. Uh, got a lot of U seeds. I'm not sure where they are right now, but three U seeds, uh, just once, I guess. Did I get any magic seeds? Nope, I didn't. So that's unfortunate. Uh, basically, they were all medium contracts, so it makes sense that I didn't get the best seeds. But all these limp root seeds and the watermelon seeds, they're just gonna come in helpful. And all these Raynor seeds, I still have to plant. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of snapdragons. 18. It's gonna be insane for the super restores. So yeah, looking good. My herb tab's also looking good. Farm 300 quorms, 500 irrits, and a lot of secondaries. So I can boost my herbal ASAP so I can get overloads in rates 1. So those are the plans. Right now my next goal is to do room crafting with the uh, Archaeus library. That's also a task and the last task I need for my diaries as well. The lamps I'm going to use on agility because I need to shortcut for room crafting. So I planned everything out. My next goal right now is room crafting. So I think I'm gonna go for 77. If I get burned out, I'll probably stop earlier, but we'll see. So I just got a maze event and I got 118 dead runes, 237 chaos and 178 steals. Those are insane for me right now because I haven't started combat yet and that will boost my magic level. Anyways, we also got this one, which unlocks the teleportation spell, so. Yeah, there we go. Once I have 69 magic, I can use that teleport, I guess. Uh, still one room crafting, about to start this grind. I'll fill you guys in how it goes. And there we go, full favor in Archaeus. Let's see how many points we got from that task. Only 40 points for some reason. Anyways, let's continue. Level 38 RC. So we just got 60 room crafting, taking a break now. Uh, I'll come back later to finish off 77. Gonna take a break, do some farming. Might do some two tick fishing because I need to get my agility up to 73 for the best shortcut uh, to be able to do room crafting as efficient as possible. So I'm pretty sure I claim my easy diaries here. And let's see how much this gives on. I also got a task from that agility 12.5k, 38. So I might even do the medium one to put those lamps on the jelly as well because I need to get 60 before I can actually train it with the shortcut. And let's see how many points we got from this. Only 10 points. So I got 70 room crafting at the library and decided to take a break. I'll finish that up tomorrow. This should get me to 87 farming which means I can boost for the redwood tree and hopefully it doesn't die tomorrow morning when I wake up. I forgot to pick up the fruits from the dragon fruit so I could have it as a payment. So that's a mistake from my part. Let's just hope that Super compo Compost does the job. First easy clue. I'm still low stats so this will come in handy. Amulet of Magic, Black Plate Body and a Coif. And there we go. We're at 1000 total level. Let's see how many points we get from that. I'm pretty sure it's not much. 
50 points. That's actually decent. Expect only 10 points. 1,000 total. These are my stats right now. So I decided to get 20% shades in favor. That way I can access the shop that sells weapons. And the Metro Skimmed are still out of stock. So let's just buy some armor. Uh, gonna need these in the future. Just buy two. Can't even build this, I think. Anyways, I'm gonna buy some weapons so I can AFK rock crabs or sand crabs because at work I can just do something AFK. And I'm gonna get base 60 stats, so might as well just get that out of the way. Don't have to do Winter Todd anymore since I'm 99. So hopefully we can find a world that still has a Mitral Skimitar in store. If not an Eddie Sword, I'll take either of those two. So I afk some melee stats and then I picked up a Slayer task. I have most giants killed a couple. I got some head drops, that's what she said. Uh, this will help me from some prayer. I want to get protection prayers and base 60s and magic's looking good as well. Also, we picked up an easy task at the rock crabs. So let's see what's in it. Trout, black full arm, earth rooms and a black axe. Nothing special. Anyways, let's continue with the most giant task. Uh, after a bit of combat, I'll go back to RC library thing and get 77 room grafting. So I just used my four assault hats and we managed to get 30 prayer. Also, I want to stay on this spell book. That way I can teleport here fast through the farming guild and get slayer tasks faster, basically. Let me just get a new task because I do want to get protection prayers. And I think I'm going to quickly get a rune skim. See if I can get it with the skeletons. I saw rooks kill them. If not, I'll probably do some rune crafting, like I said. So I picked up a new task, which is temple spiders. Uh, I might chin these because I did collect some chins. But anyways, let's get a big point boost by checking this health of the red boot tree. It's going to give me 250 points, 224k XP as well. Also, all these base stats will give me points as well. Let's see how far we're at because I haven't claimed any yet. So 1500, that's an insane boost. 600 points claimed almost. So I'm actually going to start the herbal grind. And the reason for that is I started the combat. I might as well make myself super sets and see how far I get with herbal because I have a lot of herbs. I'm pretty sure I have like 70 plus banked, I'm not even sure, but if you guys look at this tab, 400 Raynars almost, 500 Irids, 500 Quarms, this is a super set. I can also make super defense, Blackberries, I have to farm more Calentines, but I'll do that later on, 66 is enough for now. Anyways, let's make some potions and see how far we get. Quick little milestone, level 60 Herblore, and let's see how many points we claimed so far. 750 left. Anyways, supply is looking healthy. 400 prayer pots and we still need to make all these super strength defense and tag potions, which I... Irrits, 500 and 500. So I have 500 super sets, 66 super defenses when I can make them. And my hand just hurts from cleaning all these herbs because I also got XP from that. I think I probably have like 75 to 80 bank, but we'll see how far we get. So I managed to get 66 herb or change of plans. I'm gonna do... 40% chase in favor, do the gangs, and that way I can camp the gangs for rune skim and get 100% favor. And while I'm waiting, I'll train my herb lore at the bank. So that's the plan for now. They also drop rune skims, like I said, and that will help me train my melee stats. I also have to do the mini quest, so I'm gonna do that now for 10% favor. That will put me on 30, 31, and then I have to do 9% with the bandages, and then I can start the gangs. So that's the plan for now. And there we go, there should be quest completed. We also get 8,000 coins, which I didn't even know about. Also the page that teleports you here, I think. And that's it. No, don't need to know anything. This will give me 10%. Yeah, and now I have to do 9% with the bandages and then we can start the gangsters, whatever it's called. So I'm pretty sure this is a medium task. So I didn't get the rune skin, but I can exchange this. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go, medium task done. And I can put this on range. No, I can't. Um, gonna put it on strength, I think. Five, 5k XP, not too bad. So I went and killed some hill giants for these insult heads. And we finally got protection prayers. Just gonna finish these remaining three and see how far we get. Maybe I'll get 44 and then I can use eagle eye for ranging as well. So I decided to do all the mini quests. They will also give me 50 points. And this is the RKS one. I think I should finish here after this conversation. And the XP you get from this is also F times 5, so that's pretty nice. Did I get a level for this? Nope. And I think it should give me 50 points, if we can see this. Oh, it's only 10 points? That's really bad. Anyway, so I'm going to do the other quests as well, because I want to unlock the, the memories teleports for the medium diaries. And there we go. The serious part should be done as well. 
There we go. We got 4k coins, 1500 agility XP. Uh, that will put me on 40 agility, which means I can use the XP lamps from the medium. I'm not sure if it's 50 or 40 that it requires to be able to use the lamps. But I know uh, once I complete the Forge's Dungeon minigame where you turn on the pages, I can use that XP lamp on agility as well. And there we go, this should be the last quest. I'm not sure what the rewards are, but let's just speak to her. I feel like this favor is like really bad. Okay, we got 6k coins. The last page for the teleport. 5 on mining, 5 on smithing. Not that bad. And that's it, I guess. 33 smithing. And my book should be filled now. And we have all the teleports unlocked. This is going to be needed for the medium diaries. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I feel like I have a lot of content right now. Uh, I mean clips and I don't want to make this video way too long so I'm gonna upload this video here and the next video I'll probably unlock the last relic 500 points I already have it planned out where I'm gonna get that so if you enjoyed give this video a like make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the uh, bell notification if you haven't already and see you in the next one